Hello Curious Minds, I'm Miles Maxer and welcome back to the Ant Network. Today I'm going to show you how to fully assemble and use an insect aspirator. Aspirators are also known as pooters and they're used by entomologists to collect insects in the field. Using an aspirator can help to ensure that the ants don't get damaged in the collection process. It also helps us collect many ants and their brood in a short amount of time. When you first unpackage your aspirator, it will look something like this. You can use it like this, but I do recommend making a simple modification. First, pick up a small fuel filter from a local auto parts store. Alternatively, you can order these online. The filter is used to filter out large soil particles or formic acid. Install the filter by cutting the rubber tubing about three inches from one end. When you attach the filter, ensure that the arrow is pointing in the direction that the air will flow when you inhale. This is what your aspirator kit will look like once it's fully assembled. You'll have your aspirator piece with the filter, and most kits also come with two snap cap vials. You can purchase more of these at uh, websites like BioQuip or Tar Heel Ants, or you could use centrifuge tubes like these. Now let's go on a hike and use our aspirator to collect an ant colony. We've got a beautiful Myrmica colony right here, and I found a queen, so we're going to begin aspirating the colony. When you're aspirating ants, you don't want to draw in a breath for too long. You want to do short little bursts. You want to put the tip of the aspirator right above the ants that you're trying to aspirate. If you get dirt or other material in the aspirator, just gently tap it and usually it'll come out. I find the short bursts especially useful when you're trying to collect brood items. I just finished aspirating this Myrmica colony, which was warming its brood and queens right under this rock. This rock sits in partial sunlight and warms up just enough to give those ants a developmental boost uh, throughout the day. And during the collection process, I wanted to make sure that the ants had enough uh, substrate to grip and hide in during this stressful period. So I put a little bit of moss into the vial. You can replicate this with grasses or things like paper towels if you don't find moss nearby. It's important to clean your aspirator every few months to disinfect it and keep it ready for your next adventure. First, fill your sink or a container with warm, soapy water. Disassemble your aspirator. Separating the silicone tubing from the metal is easiest by twisting, not pulling. Using a clean brush or sponge, scrub each part and remove any dirt. If this is difficult, let the parts soak for a few minutes and try again. Once you've cleaned each part, thoroughly rinse and allow them to dry. To reassemble your aspirator, take the mesh screen and position it above the hole. Drive it through with the short tube until the mesh is almost flush with the bottom. Insert the long tube into the other hole. Attach the tubing pieces and make sure the filter is properly installed. This is an ideal time to change out the filter if it is too dirty. Aspirators are indispensable tools for entomologists and hobbyists. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.